Welcome to the beer tutorial. We've been planning a beverage tutorial for a very, very long time and looking at the curriculum from multiple different perspectives. And in doing so, we realized beer has to be its own category. There is just so much to learn when it comes to photographing beer properly. We wanted to break it out and make it its own tutorial, a standalone, just beer from the very basics all the way through to some more creative approaches to photographing beer. So what can you expect out of this tutorial? Well, here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna start with the very basics, and that's a beer pour. But we're gonna look at a beer pour from multiple perspectives. We need to look at straight on, just beer in a glass to shoot for the body, the head, and the size of the glass. Every client, I don't care, every client needs just their product to look good on white, because it's gonna live on their website, it's gonna live maybe on a sell sheet. Learning how to shoot beer on white is just the most basic place that you're gonna start. Uh, we're also going to look at, at beer pours from multiple perspectives. We're going to go a little bit lower because that completely changes what happens with the head. And then we're going to go higher and we're going to look at different colors of beer. Then we're going to look at bottles. Again, we're going to stay on the white set, but we're going to look at bottles and what's really important there. How do you get a good glow coming through the bottle? How do you get the labels to look right? Because remember, they've got silvers, they've got golds, they've got whites, they've got a bunch of type. All that stuff you really need to take into consideration because the client has spent an enormous amount of time and money making their label look just the way it does. We want to highlight all those components. We're also going to talk about how to really dress a bottle. We're going to first start by prepping a bottle. We're going to go to my prepping station. I'm going to show you exactly how I remove labels from a bottle, put fresh labels on. I prepare it so that it can take all the refreshment cues, the spritz, the slush, the crushed ice, all that stuff has to have something to hold on to, and we have to protect the labels at the same time. So I'm gonna walk you through my methodology and my process on dressing a bottle, really making it heroic. Once we've had the opportunity to really master the basics, that's when we can start to get creative. We can take the skills that we've learned about pouring a beer and dressing a beer bottle, and now we can start to create environments. We can create mood, we can set tone. Because remember, that's an opportunity for us to really sell the product. We wanna create desire in the viewer. If I'm able to evoke that sense in you that you wanna drink that beer in that environment right now, then I've won and I've hit the mark for my client. We're gonna spend a good amount of time showing you that process of creating that environment and instilling that sense of desire, that, that sense of drinkability in the viewer. So again, once we've had the opportunity to kind of master the basics and we get into the really creative stuff and we learn how to set tone and mood that's when you're gonna be able to really go out and get new clients, when you're gonna be able to set yourself apart from other beverage photographers, because that's what I want for you. There are so many opportunities in the world of beer to gain new clients. In the United States alone, there's over 5,000 microbreweries. Think of how many opportunities that is for you to walk down to your local brewery, open up a conversation, show them your work, and start to gain business. That's my hope for you, that's where I want you to start, and I can't wait to see you unfold as a photographer.